Good morning, everybody. My name is Christy, and this is my channel, Christy's Musings, and I'd like to welcome you all. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about The Watchers. It's a movie directed by Ishana Knight Shyamalan. She's the d daughter of M. Knight Shyamalan, and this is her directorial debut. The movie stars Dakota Fanning as Mina. As the movie starts, we see that Mina is somewhat awkward and that um, she's not comfortable with herself. We see her going to a bar. She puts on a wig, goes to a bar, and pretends to be other personalities, other women. We learn that she is estranged from her twin sister and um, Mina works in a pet store in Galway, Ireland, where she is the observer of animals in cages. Mina is charged with taking a valuable golden conure bird to a zoo in Belfast. However, on the way, her car starts acting up and she becomes stranded in a very thick, creepy forest. Early in the movie, we saw a man who we later learn is named John being attacked by some kind of creatures in the very same forest. Mina begins walking, carrying the caged bird whom she had named Darwin. The bird had been nonverbal until it met Mina, and um, he had picked up on something she said to it, um, try not to die. And as they begin um, searching for help, the bird repeats, try not to die. As they get a distance away, Mina turns to go back to her car. She's kind of getting freaked out by this forest. But when she turns around, she sees that her car has disappeared. She rushes ahead and sees the woman who excitedly com commands her to hurry into this building as they all scramble to lock the doors before the crazy forest creatures pounce on them. Oddly, Mina made it from the road to the coop in a relatively short amount of time, whereas earlier, in the earlier part of the movie, John didn't make it out of the forest before dark, even though the coop occupants had mapped out their forest. I wanted to point out also that um, Mina naming the bird Darwin reflects back on the theory of survival of the fittest. Also, birds are known to be harbingers of impend impending doom. Darwin's echoing of try not to die is a bit of foreshadowing. Mina is commanded by Madeline to stand with the other occupants, Chiara and Daniel, and face the mirror. Now Mina is the one in a cage being observed by, by some unknown creatures. Mina struggles to understand the situation of the coop and all of the rules dictated to her by Madeline. She bristles at the defeatist attitude of Madeline and the monotony of the daily surroundings. Also noteworthy, Madeline refers to the occupants of this coop as her pets. Mina is the only occupant of the coop that watches a video of a reality show called Lair of Love. Reality shows, um, they put their audience in a posi position of being voyeurs, and we watch the individuals behind the glass television screen. The movie, um, to me, puts off vibes of the um, Genesis story in the Bible where we learn about the watchers of the forest. The watchers are sort of like the changelings or fa of fairy lore, but more like shapeshifters able to mimic what they see and hear. They force the inhabitants of the coop to stand before the mirror so that they can practice looking and acting like humans. Later we learn that the Watchers were the first inhabitants of Ireland. 
They had lived harmoniously with the Celtic people and even intermarried with them. This ended with a warrior tribe called Milesians that attacked the fairies, aka changelings, and drove them underground. This intermingling with humans is much like the story of the sons of God in Genesis 6. The idea of people living below ground is talked about in popular theories by people like Phil Schneider and Admiral Byrd. It is also part of the lore of many scary movies like The Arrival starring Charlie Sheen and Jordan Peele's movie Us. In that movie, we see people being swapped out by their doppelganger, much like what is said to happen with changelings. Hollywood loves to repeat certain principles of Hermeticism and the teachings of Kabbalion. In The Watchers, we see duality. Mina is a twin. Then there are the times where you see her pressed against the mirror. You see her reflection. You also see the one hand up and the other hanging down, which could also be seen as as above, so below. I'm trying not to give away too many spoilers, but I'd like to focus on Mina uh, for a bit. Mina, to me, put off vibes that she was very much like Madeline. She was a bratty kid, and it makes me wonder if either her mom had ended up with cha a changeling and her baby, her own baby, in utero, or maybe Mina's family were descendants of fairy folk. You know, I've heard stories of um, when there's twins, sometimes one baby gets absorbed and just disappears. And that kind of falls into the um, story of the chain, you know, the lore of changelings. And so in this case with Mina, though, with the mom ending up with both sisters, it makes you wonder if she somehow ended up with the changeling and her own child. <laughs> but, um, what drew Mina to, um, Ireland of all places? Why did the Watchers call her Einreachton? I hope I said that correctly. Just the same as they had called Madeline. How did she exhibit so many traits and abilities that the other kook inhabitants didn't possess? In other words, how she pick up on things and how she able to do things, you know. Why didn't the Watcher smell her human scent when she hid with Madeline in the decayed tree? Maybe she should do a 23andMe DNA test and find out <laughs> what her gene genetics are. And I hope that maybe there will be a part two so we can get more answers to these questions. And I hope you enjoy, if you do watch the movie The Watchers, it was a pretty good. I think that um, Ishana Knight Shyamalan did very good in her directorial debut in putting out this movie. Love you all, and I'll talk to you later.